Hi right guys, Mark Crossfield here. I'm in the golf studio at St Anne's Old Lynx Golf Club and we have James. Hello James. Hi. Welcome. I have come all the way here to try and help James with his Game Golf stats. He's a competition winner. We ran a competition in conjunction with Game Golf. Game Golf is these little red markers that you see at the top of the club and this little red device that James is wearing here. James, if you just give us one of your best, there it is, look. So what James is doing, he wears this, he tags his club every shot he plays. It GPSs you on the course, doesn't it? Yeah. Which delivers us some great stats of what James could maybe improve from how many putts you have, to if you miss left and right, those kind of things. Now James, I think 11 handicap? Yep. So we're gonna try and move that handicap and we're gonna try and move the stats to see if we can get you playing some better golf. Thanks for game golf for setting this up. Let's try and move those stats. Yes. Let's get stuck in. So you can see James is wearing the game golf device. We're in an indoor situation, obviously you wouldn't be tagging indoors, but we did this to try and use the device in a more real setting during the lesson. As you'll see as the lesson goes on, we talk about how to use the tag and go system on the golf course. Right, so James, we've measured you a little bit. We've used GC2HMT to measure some club head delivery, hitting iron and wood. We've also used my body track as well, just to talk a little bit about where your pressure's going in your swing, which we're gonna talk about. So let's look at the game golf stats. Okay. Um, there's some standout ones, isn't there? It's those irons, so greens in regulation, and also your fairway hits count, when you compare it to some of the world's best, like you do on game golf. We've got uh, McDowell, Furyk, and Westwood here. You can see there's quite a contrast, and there would be, because they're the world's best, and you're a handicapped golfer uh, living a life outside of golf as well. Um, but there's certainly room for improvement, isn't there? Absolutely. Uh, and what we noticed from your stats, when we looked at your irons, or your approach shots into greens from over a certain yardage, there were some great shots, uh, but there were also some shots that were um, slightly wild. Yeah. So we have this real kind of contrast from great heights of brilliantness, down to the destructive shots and they're the ones I want to keep the brilliantness if we can but I want to get rid of those destructive ones. Sometimes for people actually what happens which is quite interesting is you you actually pull them both in so they're not they don't have those kind of greatness but they become kind of boringly um, simple with their approaches so maybe not hitting those really stiff ones from 200 yards but always just getting it on the green or thereabouts. so we're going to work at that. Also your fairway hits weren't too bad but you had a lot of those readies didn't you? Yeah. And they were kind of, well, there's more up the left, but you were missing left and right. So again, it was that erratic delivery, which we're going to talk about in your dynamic lie and try and help you with. And we need to try and move those stats for you to get into that single figure handicap, which is where I believe and you believe you should really be uh, playing. Because yeah. the power's there, isn't it? Absolutely. It's just that we need to make you boring. <laughs> we need to make him boring. He's too kind of high, low, high, low, aren't you at the minute? A little bit. Should yeah. we have a go? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Good shot. Just slightly left again, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, we need to get you thinking as you start your downswing. Uh, your hand path yeah. gets too far this side. Okay. So what happens if I pop you just in here, look? What happens as you start your downswing is your hand path wants to move out, yeah. but you still want to swing at zero. Yeah. So what you start doing is coming through this yeah. way. Okay. So for me, because I don't have a desire to raise the handle, and it may, it, I find it almost impossible to hit the ball if I raise the handle, if my hand path was to move out, yeah. I would just swing left. Yeah. So I would embrace the path, but what you do is you cleverly you get the hand path moving that way, so more, you could say, away from you. Yeah. But you have a desire to swing straight to your target in your mind, so you start swinging the club straight by having to pull the hand up. Yeah. Which is a common cricket uh, foul. I see it so much with cricket. So what I want you to try and do, hit a few shots like this, it's going to feel pretty insane, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to feel like you're hitting shots where you let the club almost go down behind your back and then out in front of you and around. Okay. So when people do this, they literally feel like they're going there, there, there. Okay. Okay. Um, let's drop out a swing. 
So if you go top of your battery and stop for me. Cool. So from here, I want you to feel like you're dropping that handle that way. Okay. And then you're going to be coming through that way. Now that feels like the face is open and you're yeah. swinging left. Doesn't it? Feels face is open, yeah. So it feels like you should feel the way through like you're swinging left with holding the face open in your mind is the language you've been using. Okay. Yeah? So again, up to the top and stop. So which way are you gonna come at that? Good. And then which way are you gonna go through? Yeah. So literally on the way through, James, you're gonna feel like you're kind of going like this. Yeah. It's gonna feel really strange. You're going to film me doing this. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, I'm so good. this is to the drop. Spin. Spin. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, well, James is pretty responsive. Look at me now, James. That's amazing. So you're now... Three toed up. Okay. So you did it far too much. Okay. If you just look on that screen there. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you got to the top and just dropped it down behind you, did you? Yeah. So look, there's no change of hand path now. Do you see that? Wow, weird. You gotta remember your clubs are two upright. Yeah. So if you came to me hitting three toed up, which you've done there. You'd just give me a normal set of clubs. Well, I'd be asking why you've got two up, right? Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Which is kind of what we talked about at the start. I mean, if you look at that picture, that's not what you're used to seeing, is it, on the way down? That like you're... This, uh, this is... Fixating about that position there, so that kind of first parallel for me, for you, is going to change the numbers by a degree. We're changing them by three degrees, yeah, okay. four degrees. Um, it's not a bad thing to keep practicing though to try and get that. I absolutely don't care about it. Okay, fine. Whatever lights your lemon. Fine. <laughs> um, wow, why well, am I going to do that again? Because that's completely different. So, cliches, a shaft through, right forearm you're yeah. doing now. I mean, that's, that's a change in one swing because I got you to focus on what the issue was. Yeah. Rather than what lots of people do, is they focus on what positions yeah. don't look right subject to what the magazine says and all the rest of yeah, it, yeah. but they don't look like they're irrelevant to you. Yeah, okay. So I would argue that's a massive change very quickly. So you would rather see that continue to be three up and then... Uh, I reckon, we'll be interested to see if you stay there. I don't know yeah. if you can stay there. Shot was... Uh, that was awful. It was straight. <laughs> what was it straight? It's the last red one. Okay, it's gone. But, yeah, but look at the strike. Yeah. Right time. Yeah. Whereas if that was... If you struck it, no, if you struck it more centred, yeah. it'll be straight and as far as anything else. Okay. So if we look at your two shots now after our conversation, you're three down where you were six down. Yeah. So I've changed your angle of attack and we didn't talk about how to change that. That's nice. Yeah. Um, your 3.4 from the inside, you were 2. Point, or 3.9 from the inside, you were 2.5. Okay, so it's even a bit it's slight, too far now. Well, only on the last one, the one before was 2.5, which is exactly where you were okay, averaging. Fine. Um, so we'll see how that's sustained. This is draw numbers, yeah. averaging two close to that four, uh, and the line now is 2.5 toed up, as opposed to three. three that's five degrees down. in line change. Um, which is yeah. giving you very different flights. They're both straighter. Yeah. They're a lot straighter. Correct. This is the, the whole idea is to make you boring. Yeah, okay. You are playing exciting golf. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you see what I mean? We need to make you dull. Yeah, absolutely. And those stats will come down. Okay. Your game goal stats will improve. Fine. Yeah? So Let's do some more. exciting about looking for balls in the ah, I totally forest. Agree. Totally <laughs> Right, James, so look, we've got five or six or so shots now. You're four down where you were six down, so we've calmed down how far down you're hitting it. Yep. Uh, you're two from the inside now averaging, which you were two from the inside. Yep. Your face is averaging zero. Nice. So you ain't going left with these. They're going to go straight to slight pushes. Yep. 
Um, and the lie is 1.1 towed up now. Okay. Where the biggest one you were 3.3 towed down. Yeah. The thing that's interesting for me is that as soon as we get you to think about the issue, yeah. And I know when I said to you at the start, you know, try and do X, Y, and Z, try and change that shaft. You kind of looked at me, and you, we showed you on the camera. You wanted a bit of like my shoulder, or you know, you, I, you kind of. And lots of people do. I like, get people come for lessons. They want this. They want more. They don't want it to be as simple as what well, just do that. But to be honest with you, if you just focus on delivery, yeah, it can be really simple really simple and all the tech so your game golfs and the launch monitors everyone said and the force body you know the um, the pressure mat everyone all oh, this tech it's so how simple i've, I've given you one yep. thought that's fixed quite a few numbers yeah and hopefully with the use of game and the gps tagging we can prove to you and show to you how that simple thought with the help of some measuring devices yeah allows you to go out and actually play a simpler round of golf not a more complicated one which I always think is the really key message here because so many people think tech is complicated. It's, it's, it's not actually. I believe it actually makes it much simpler because there's no guessing. No. When we got to that within five minutes, if I'm stood on a range and I haven't got those stats from game golf and I haven't got the other measuring devices, it's going to take me 15 minutes of your half hour lesson to really work out what I should be saying to you. Um, where we get to the point much quicker and hopefully we can see some measured stats change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd agree. I've been for lessons several. I've worked hard on my game and no one's ever identified dynamic. Absolutely. Or, or dy dynamic, dynamic lie. lie as, as a fault. Well, and it was interesting because the, the swing thought I gave you, again, you looked at me a bit like, what? I've never done that. Like, but, but it's because it's a dynamic you've never looked at. So there's a good chance that the swing idea will be something that you've never thought about because we're talking about a measurement that you've never even realised kind of exists at impact. Sure. Um, that's really good. Great changes. We need to try and do it with the driver as well. Sure. Not easy because we want to move the driver stacked as well. But what I want to do before we do that, I just want to talk to you a bit about your game golf and how you use it in your pre-shot routine. Sure. Because um, lots of people when they're using game are trying to work out the best way of incorporating it into their kind of pre-shot routine, their day-to-day -day playing. Okay. Uh, when do you tag? What's your ideas around tagging? So when you're playing, how are you using the device to tag? At what point do you do it? Um, so normally I'll go into my pre-shot routine, I'll pick a target, stand behind. Okay. I usually use the club to pick something on the ground yeah. to aim at. Um, and then at that point I'll tag and then step into the ball and hit. Fantastic. So if I steal that from you, if I get you there for me, so what you're saying is you would pre-shot routine by looking where you go and picking your target, yeah. and then you would use your tag to kind of go. It's like tag and go, I've right, tagged, so I'm now into my waggles and setting yeah. and swinging. Yeah. Is like, that what you're saying? Like the pre-shot, all the pre-thoughts. Yeah. Sometimes you think about the thought box and the play box. Yeah, and yeah. How do you work it? Yeah. But everything make the decision, tag, step in, hit the ball. Brilliant. And that's a really important message, I think, for people, because it is something that people do worry about with the tagging. When do they use it and how do you incorporate it into your game? It's, um, I mean, I think kind of tag and go is the line, really. So what happens is you do all your thoughts about wind and what club, and then you set there, pick your targets. It's the tagging that sets you in to that shot and makes so you go. That's great. And, and that's the way I want really most people using it at home as well. That's cool. Let's do some now with the driver then okay. and see if we can get the same thought helping you with the driver because again we had those erratic misses with the driver like we were seeing with the iron. Sure. What I'm loving with the iron and you can see from that green chase on the screen now there's one shot where there was a view. We kind of cancelled one side of the fairway out a bit. You weren't really going left of anything. You were just slightly pushing to hitting target. Yeah. And they became quite boring didn't they? Yep. And the strike started to feel, you even said that the strike started to feel quite different. Or, or I could feel the strike. Absolutely. So before, when it was towed down, I'd been striking the mat, yeah. I could really feel an impact was the mat. Correct, Whereas yeah. Whereas now it's coming in slightly towed up or level. Well, your interaction with the ground now is much more kind of where these manufacturers want your club to interact. They don't build them for you to interact too much either way, which is why custom fitting is obviously always a key point, but you can override custom fits with dynamic delivery like we saw today, and we're actually finding out that these clubs are actually much closer to you than the original measurements uh, came yeah. out, so you're actually getting back to where they were fitted originally almost. Sure. Great. Um, let's look at the driver, the, the big stick, the harder one. Let's do it.
high toe. So James, we are going, your angle of attack is zero, you are one down with your driver, so you're not as down doing this, which is not a bad thing. Your path is 1.6 from the inside, you were 1.4 from the outside before. Okay. So not much of a change, but it's a slight change in to out. Yeah. Uh, your face to path control, four open to path, which is now moving right, which is why we're seeing them all going to the right. Okay. So your lie has gone to 5.5, towed up. Yep. Okay. Which is closer to our six. You were only three, so double the difference in your line delivery. But we're losing face to path control. Yep. So we need to put where were the eye and the one fork fixed all problems. The driver, you're going to need another fork okay. to just try and get the face delivered a little bit more in conjunction with the path. Okay. So James, I want you to keep trying to feel like you're flat in the shaft. Yeah. But I want you to spin it more at the way. Uh, when you get kind of waist height feeling down and through. Okay. Now, don't spin it. I want you to feel like you're spinning it. Cool, got it. So kind of around this axis rather than this one. Okay. Does that make sense? So what you're doing is you're dropping the handle quite nicely, but then you're just not getting the head to catch up. Okay. So path's moving right or almost straight, but the face is just open to that path, which is why we're seeing... Obviously, you're mishitting these as well, which is why we're seeing the yeah. big tails off, and this club will punish miss hits as well okay. um, but uh, it's also if you could get the face catching up with the path I think your strike would improve a bit more um, but we need to maintain that line you're delivering which is great and try and keep that toe up a little bit more okay. so we've fixed the problem nearly yeah. but you've introduced another one which is really really common certainly when you go to the biggest stick so you are going to have to have two thoughts with this one Fine. let's do it so yeah, but if you hold on again, hold on. So it'll be feeling like it's catching up. Yeah. So you're dropping the handle and then a little bit draggy the handle. Yeah. I want you to feel that you drop it, but then I want you to feel like you are spinning it. Don't twist spin it. it. Yeah. yeah. So it certainly found target more on that one, slightly left, which is I'd rather you go slightly left than the right ones. Yeah. Um, which is a great response, bearing in mind I told you to try and align the face and the path slightly differently. And what we get, so on the last one, zero path, zero face. Fine. Strike a little bit more where we want it. Uh, lie 4.7 toe down. Okay. So better. That one needs more towing up. Yeah. But it's, they're all in a very functional place. Yeah. Um, averaging with your driver when you walked in three. Yeah. Uh, getting some down at two. Yeah. So that's a really, really Flat, good yeah. So the driver's always gonna be the one that is for most lessons that takes that little bit more time sure. to change the move where the iron you kind of change it straight away. But you're moving that along the right line. Wow. Yeah, that's toey. So that's why it's getting a bit more turn. Really good though. So look, you've actually got the face now closing to the path 1.9, so that second thought is working. Um, and yeah, like you say, it was slightly high in toe, which is giving it a bit more spin extra still, but 5.7 uh, toe down. Really good, absolutely getting there. So cut path slightly from the inside, face to the path, slightly open to path because of those early ones, the last two after the second thought was in, uh, yeah. kind of put in there, started to line up. And we're now 5.4 toed up where you were three. Okay. So absolutely changing those numbers. Mm -hmm. The big thing is, can we change those numbers on your game golf devices? So taking this out onto the course yeah. is always going to be a bigger challenge, sure. which we're going to look forward to seeing how you do over the next few weeks. What I want to do just to finish is I want to do the swim forts that we're doing, yeah. but I want you to just show me a couple of shots where you incorporate the uh, tag and go idea that we're talking about. Sure. Um, so we'll do it as if you're in a gaming environment. So you'll do your pre-shot routine, show us how you'll use those sports in conjunction with the game system um, to try and make sure that those stats are being changed on the course as well as in the uh, studio. Perfect. I'm just looking to make sure I'm, I'm lined up with the target, so I'll, I'll step behind the ball, line the club up with the ball with where I'm looking to aim. I'll try and pick something out on the ground to help me square up. Like that. Feel ready to go. Tag the club. Fantastic. And then you would go, you've done your pre-shot routine and now you're actually getting it. Let's see a good shot there with the new swing ball. Good hit. 
Really good. Okay, so let's do the same with the driver. Yeah. And I, what I love about that is it's the tagging part okay. that you talked about there. I mean, it was seamless, wasn't it? As in, lots of people you're playing with wouldn't even really see what you're doing, apart sure. from seeing the tiny bit of wearable tech. I mean, it was literally the fact that you stood there, as soon as you put the club down, you tag, and you go, and it's just, I, I like the way, it's not intruding in any way, is it? No, absolutely. I mean, the um, first round or so I used it, it felt a little weird to get used to. I totally agree. Well, I think I'm about 10 or so rounds into using it now, nice. and then it's just, it just happens. Yeah, I don't absolutely. even have to think about it. Fantastic. So. Good. Uh, let's see the same thing with the driver. Let's just talk us through. I'm sure it's the same procedure. Sure. Absolutely. So Lining up. Just I lining like this, up. the line up the clubs. So you're picking your line club through the ball and then lines up with something in front. Yeah, and really close. Like, cause I find a struggle if it's this far away, yeah. so I'm looking for just like a discoloured bit of grass yeah, or anything fantastic. that close. Yeah. Um, I'll often then like place the club just behind it in okay. a line, so I visually find that quite an easy straight line to see. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So show us how you do it on the course as well. Step in behind. Line it up. Line it up at that point. Tag in. And then and go, let's see it. With the swing fork, pressure on. No one's watching. <laughs> Good shot. Drawing back onto target. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's going to hit the line. Oh, just crossed it. Excellent, James. I really like that. Fantastic. So it's going to be a real interesting journey over the next couple of weeks. Seeing if James can A, incorporate those very different swing ideas. Something that you've not thought about before, Absolutely. so it'll be very interesting to see how you do take them out, of course. Um, and seeing if we can move the game golf stats. Yeah. I'm nervous. Because <laughs> <laughs> this isn't only a test of James now, is it? It's now a test of me. So I want plenty of practice. In fact, okay. I might be kind of rocking up every morning. Jane, no work today, mate. Come on, go and get some shots. Great stuff. Thanks for your time, James. No worries. We will check back in with you soon to see if we've moved those game golf stats. Good stuff, thanks for your time. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.